Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have first consumer PCIe Gen 5 NVMe SSD is already out and well, it's kind of quite loud because it has a fan. Chrome 110 brings NVIDIA RTX Super Resolution support. Chinese Moore Threads MTTS80 GPU can run a crisis. PowerColor teases the Radeon RX 7900 XTX Liquid Devil. And lastly, AMD graphics drivers for the 6000 series and the older series to be launched within two weeks. So probably like mid-February, maybe. Alright, so firstly we have Momomo underscore US bringing in this. And if we translate this tweet here, we get this gun, 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 gun. And probably reason is that this is a first Gen 5 SSD, but it has a fan, a smaller fan. And... But before I say anything, just listen to this. Yeah, it's quite loud. You can li literally tell. And, well, that's not good. Because we don't want something like this to be this loud. Maybe it's an engineering sample or just a test bench where they're just testing how they can control the temperature with a fan maybe. But I don't think this is going to be a, a, well... In the market, it does say consumer base, so yeah, I don't think it should be marketed because that sound is loud. But if it's fast, you know, I mean, you can consider it still like for normal consumers, you wouldn't want something this loud. But I guess this will get a revamp of the design, I believe, for the thermals. So I guess we have to wait, but it is coming soon enough because we already can see the physical form of that. Next up we have NVIDIA launched this and basically this is the RTX video super resolution that supports Chrome and Edge videos. That's right. Now you can upscale the videos and well you can get 4K upscaling literally. So if you look into it this is the 4K RTX super resolution that you're looking at which for now you can't really tell any difference because you don't have the comp comparison here but we do have comparison right here. As you can see, this is a 1080p video upscaled, and as you can see, this looks blurry, very blurry. But if we carry on, as you can see, this is very blurry. But this is the 4K RTX Super Resolution. The blur is quite gone, and obviously that's how the VSR works, right? So, yeah, it's, it is more detailed, and, well, it requires RTX graphics card, basically. So... If you have an RTX graphics card, then I guess you can enjoy this 4K AI upscaling from NVIDIA RTX Super Resolution, which is great. And this is a side-by-side -side comparison here. As you can see, it's quite blurry, but here it's very detailed. And I think this is really necessary because, again, in YouTube, you can get, like, in YouTube, when you when there's a high movement, you can get a lot of blur in the video. But I guess this, is, this, this can fix that blur and also upscale it, so... I guess it will be more clear, 4K, you know, look. So that's quite good, in my opinion. The only setback is that you would need an RTX graphics card. But I don't think that will, will be a problem in, you know, in five years or so. Or even in two years or three years, we will have more ray traced graphics cards. I'm hoping that if this will support in AMD GPUs. If not, then I guess it's only, well, NVIDIA that will be gaining the, well, a lead here so we'll see about that next up we have a twitter user and well i'm not gonna spell the name because it's quite tough to spell but this is the guy that uh, will give the credit and he posted this is that og crisis is working on mtt s80 and if you don't know what mtt s80 is it's a chinese based graphics card here as you can see this is the graphics card we're looking at which was probably launched a while ago not too long but yeah it's it is available in china and, well, we are looking at the Crisis Remastered, I believe. This is the DX9 that's supporting. And it's running. Yeah, it's very clear that it's at its Crisis. So the question is, can it run Crisis? Well, yes, it can. But maybe not in the Crisis uh, settings or the difficulties Crisis or the graphics settings, you know, uh, Crisis. Can it run cri Crisis? There is a setting like that. But yeah, so I don't think that can run in that settings. but here it can and if you look into some details here well it doesn't show the fps it says zero but probably there's this is, this is some kind of error 
The GPU utilization is kind of weird. It's only 27%. That's probably why it's showing 0 FPS maybe. I, I don't know. The GPU temp, however, is quite good. 39 degrees. Is it really utilizing anything? I mean, yeah, it's only 27% utilization. So 39 degrees kind of makes sense. But if you look into the uh, clock speed here, it's 1800 megahertz. So, I mean, we can't really tell any anything with that. But still, it's reaching uh, around 1800, so not bad. And of course, the memory frequency, I believe this is 1750 megahertz. So, yeah, that's the detail we're, or the benchmark that we got. And it's running on uh, the MTTS80, and the crisis is completely running smoothly, I believe. I don't know, but yeah, we, we, can, we can clearly see that. So yeah, this graphics card can run games, basically. I should say it won't support all the games because you should look into it. DLX, DX12 are not supported. DX11 and DX12. So only DX9 supported games will support this game, basically, or this GPU. Not the DX11 and DX12. So that's a bummer, but at least it's running Crisis, right? Next up, we have Power Color just teasing this. Basically, they're saying the devil's best friend. And what well, my guess is, is the 7900 XTX Liquid Edition, the Liquid Devil, I believe. That's the, I mean, if you look into it, that's the AIO, I mean, not the AIO, the pipelines, you could say that. So that's probably the Liquid Cold Card, and that's probably will be called Liquid Devil, maybe. That's what their lineup is, right? So that's the Power Color Liquid Devil we're looking at, and that's probably the 7900 XTX because that's the top of the line, and that should be overclocked and also lo liquid cooled, right? So yeah, interesting. Lastly, we have Frank Hazor posted this or tweeted this that we're working on new AMD Radeon drivers for the 6000 series and the prior gen cards, basically the uh, 5000 series and the you know RX 570, 580, or Polaris GCN, who knows? But yeah, the, they're preparing the drivers for the for these gpus in two weeks and it was posted like uh february 3rd we're in february 5th so yeah but i'm guessing in in two weeks basically in february 15 16 who knows they might uh, release the gpu or even earlier within this set so probably february 13 12 who knows so yeah they're gonna be releasing the well the newer drivers because we already know that they are only releasing the 7000 uh uh, series of GPUs that are getting the support for the 23.1.1 and 1.2. So I believe we will get new drivers and uh, it, should, it should be good, right? Because right now I'm pretty sure a lot of people are using the Amorinime modded drivers for the you know prior generation cards because AMD hasn't launched yet. But I guess now they're going to be releasing the official drivers and hopefully uh, they will be good. They will be fixing a, a lot of issues that currently we are facing. So yeah, oh well, that is it for today. What do you think about the Gen 5's SSD? Do you think it's, I mean, the pricing should be very much expensive because it's a Gen 5. But do you think it will be thermal throttling in terms of performance? Because if it requires a fan, do you think active, uh, well, passive cooling will be effective? Because I don't think fan is a good solution there because it's quite loud. And also, what do you think about the Chrome and Edge uh, support for the RTX for, uh, for RTX 4K upscaling. That's going to be game changer in my opinion because like anyone can enjoy 1080p uh, resolution with upscaled 4K. So that's quite neat. And you would, I don't think you would require any more bandwidth in terms of like internet connection. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of crazy. 1080p videos upscaled to 4K and then you're getting a clear image. Very impressive. So of course, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.